Okay, guys. So here was my finished uh, drawing that I I did on the black paper. Now I would normally just draw it right on the black paper. I didn't know if you could see the pencil on the black paper, so I did it on the white. But you'll be drawing right on the black, like I did down here. And you can see I'm starting to fill in my sky with warm colors with chalk, and it looks pretty cool. So when you're when you're filling in their sky room, your sky is going to be warm colors. And there's my cloud. And then down here I have water in here. This is going to be the lake. And then I have cool colors uh, for my tulips and my grass down here. And if you wanted to use clovers, like uh, clover uh, that I have the example of on the page, you can use that too. Um, but when you're working, you want to work from the top down. Because if you work at the bottom, this stuff is kind of messy, so it gets all over your hands. So you definitely want to work from the top down so you're not dragging your hand up and down through. And you can see where I've smudged by accident. So when you're working, you outline the area first. Then you go back in. So I'm outlining everything in first with the chalk. And guys, when you're coloring, you're trying to make it look like the sun, the, the rays. So I'm going in the direction of like the sunbeam rays that would be coming out from it okay so I fill that in and you can see how nice and that looks and you can see it gets chalk on the desk so you definitely want to uh, every once in a while don't blow it at your neighbor go to the edge of your desk and kind of shake off the paper or, like off the front of your desk you know shake it off Okay, so the other two colors I'm using are orange and this pink color. Um, so I'm just going to finish here. I'm going to do orange. And then the next thing I'm going to do is move down to my water. And my water is going to be a couple different blues. It's going to be blue and purple or, or a couple different blues. We'll see. And I'm using these chalks from the chalk, chalk bin. Okay, just regular colored chalk on the black paper, and it looks really cool. So I'm going to keep going with this, and then you can see how cool it looks so far. And then I'm going to start doing my water. When I do my water, I'm going to grab a couple different blues, and I'm going to add, first thing I'm going to do is outline, because I started to run my sun into my water, so I'm going to kind of just do this first with lines going across. See I'm working horizontally now and not vertically. I'm going across my paper. Okay. I'm going to go right to the edge. And then I'll go back in and I'll add some lines to make it look like waves. Okay, pretty cool. Okay, and now I'm gonna believe it or not, I'm gonna go in with the green first. Now there's a couple different colors of green. There's a light green and a dark green. But I think I'm gonna go with the dark. And then I'm gonna go in around my flowers. Now I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna do this perfect. I'm gonna work a little bit at a time, this part, and then move down here and then move down here. So I'm not gonna do everything all at once. First thing, I'm doing that line around my water, and now I'm going kind of going around my tulips. I don't want to go over my tulips because it'll mix a little bit. So I'm just going to kind of go in between them first, and then I'll go back in and fill them in, and then I'll neaten it up afterwards. Okay, so there's that. Now I'm going to use like a blue as well, a different a green and a blue. Because my tulips are going to be different colors. I make the U first. And the reason we're doing tulips is because it's almost uh, they're a spring color, and, oop, and I want to fill some of these in blue. And this one, and you know I'm going to go back and make this one blue, and maybe this one too. And these off in the distance, you won't be able to tell as much what they are. But when you get 
closer up here to the bottom where you'll be able to see real easily that these are tulips. So don't worry if these back here aren't as perfect as you want them to be. Really concentrate on that in the, in the front. And this is so, I want to keep going. This is so much fun. And I will. So you guys go ahead and get going. And I'll show you, you'll see it when it's done.